Hello everybody, this is The Doctor, and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Trek Online. And today we are going to introduce and look at a new Voth ship that is obtainable from the Voth lockbox. I have obtained this ship from a uh, member in the game. Thank you so much, Marika Oniki. You have been a long time friend since this game started, and thank you so much for giving me this ship. Without her, I would not have this ship. So everybody, please thank her. If not for her, we wouldn't be doing this today. But she was able to give me this Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser. And so today I am going to explore the Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser. And it says, After the first hostile contact with Voth starships in the Solonai Dyson Sphere, the Dyson Joint Command quickly came to respect and fear the defensive capabilities of these vessels. Voth Starship technology heavily focuses on turning an enemy's own strength into a weakness. Many unwary captains combating the Voth threat have unleashed a withering and desperate barrage of energy weapon fire on a Voth Starship only to have it turned against them due to their reflective immunity matrices. The Dyson Joint Command decided that it was imperative to study the Voth's technology by salvaging their starships and repurposing them for their own needs. So here is the Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser. It's one, it is one of the rank and file soldier vessels of the Voth Expeditionary Force. They are well equipped to handle just about any situation that comes their way and come with one fully operational hangar bay for uh, for launching fighters or support craft to aid them in combat. The ship comes equipped with a reactive shield amplifier console that can temporarily render the ship immune to all sources of incoming damage. While the console's ability is activated, incoming energy weapon fire will be redirected back at the ship that initiated the attack, causing the attackers to damage themselves. The ability is relatively fragile, however, and can be dispersed before its duration has ended if the ship comes under an acceptable amount of incoming fire in a short period of time. This console may be equipped on any Voth vessel. The Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser comes standard with one hangar bay of Voth Heavy Fighters. Voth Heavy Fighters are armed with anti-proton arrays, transphasic chronoton torpedoes, emergency power to shield 1, and emergency power to weapons 1. Equipping both the Aceton Field Generator, info on this console can be found below, and the Reactive Shield Amplifier console allow the Starship to use the Voth Cloak, as well as granting a small passive bonus to damage resistant rating. So it would be interesting to have both, but I believe that the, um, the Aceton Field Generator is found... Yes, on the science ship, the Voth Palisa Palisade science vas vessel. So, um, since I don't have that ship, uh, I will not have the Aceton generator, which means I will not get the Voth cloak. That's unfortunate, but uh, eventually it would be nice to get that vessel, to get that console, to have a cloak on the Voth ship. However, I don't see that as being extremely useful for the fact that this is pretty much a cruiser carrier, and um, there's really no need to cloak. Um, all right, so it is faction, Federation, Klingon, or Romulan. Rank required is Rear Admiral, or Brigadier General, or Sub Admiral 1. It is obtainable in the Voth lockbox, of course, and um, I assume, of course, it can also be in the exchange. After somebody has won it, they could sell it in the exchange, so I'm sure it's hundreds of millions of energy credits if you want to go find it there. Um, hull strength is 44,000. That's really high. I think that's only second to the obelisk carrier or the sea store version of the obelisk carrier, which is a, a little bit higher than that, actually. So this actually is a pretty good tanking kind of ship if you want to build it to that. And it also has a shield modifier of 1.2, which means it's going to have extra shield capacity as well. So it is a cruiser slash carrier, uh, but it looks like it can be a very good tank if you want to, you know, go that route. Crew of 1,500, not as big as you would think, or not as large of a crew. You would think a ship like that might have 3,000, but uh, no, only four, uh, 1,500. Uh, four weapons, 
four four weapon slots and four aft. So um, obviously this is not going to be a cannon ship because it's going to be slow and it's a cruiser carrier. This is going to be beam weapon ship. So you're going to want to put uh, torp up front, you know, some beams. We'll look at the uh, different ways we can build this thing because I'm not sure yet what would be best. Four device slots, well, only one hangar bay. I'm a little disappointed with that. A ship like this, you think, you know, the Voth being pretty much an op race, you would think that it, they would have two hangar bays at least on a ship like this. Anyway, um, it has one lieutenant tactical, one commander engineering. So there's our engineering, you know, it, it's, it's geared toward an engineer character. One Lieutenant Commander Science, one Ensign Universal, and one Lieutenant Universal. I'm going to do this on an, on my engineering character. I think, I think the engineering character would be best for this ship. Console modifications, three tactical, four engineering, three science. Uh, interesting that it has uh, an extra science there. I guess you can look at it that way. Um, no, it's kind of balanced, tactical and science. Um, base turn rate, six degrees per second. So there you go, very slow ship. Impulse modifier 0 0.15 plus 5 all power. I guess that's plus 5 all power to everything. Uh, matter antimatter warp core. Console universal reactive shield amplifier. Uh, cruiser communication array abilities. It has the command shield frequency modulation and the command attract fire. So um, the reactive shield amplifier we just learned uh, basically makes it immune to, it to incoming damage and reflects that damage back to the attacker however it's fragile and if you have a lot of people firing on you at once um, you will lose that ability um, it, it sounds a little bit like the ability I believe I'm not sure which maybe it's the Vestas or one of those um, series of ships have an immunability as well uh, some kind of uh, shielding that you enable that makes it completely immune to damage uh, but that one's not fragile this one is apparently fragile so anyway, that could be useful. Um, again, um, really leaning toward an engineering character for this ship, uh, tanking. Uh, you're not going to move very fast, so you want to buff up, you know, and be, you know, really strong, whole strength shield, all that stuff. And uh, I'm a little disappointed in only one hangar bay, but we'll look at at uh, how many um, how many of the Voth. Uh, heavy fighters we can deploy at once. Um, so that is a quick overview of... Hello everybody, this is the Doctor and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. So today I'm going to continue our look at the Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser. We just did an overview of it and now it's time to unpack this beast so let's get right to it here we go special requisition pack Voth Bastion flight deck cruiser oh yeah let's use item here we go and ours is going to be called the Iroquois apparently all right it's got a crew of 1500 base hull 44,000 shield modifier 1.2 base turn 6 four weapons four aft weapons four device slots four hangar bay one done okay now we have it yay brand new ship now here's the question how are we going to build out this ship because I have no idea I do know that it has special Voth weaponry however I don't have the resources to buy better Voth weaponry so first thing to do is let's strip my current ship which is the uh, Elachi Escort, which I have really been enjoying. I like it a lot. But let's just strip everything off here and we'll use what we can. I guess we don't need to strip the um, the Elachi stuff itself. Yeah, stuff that's specific to the Elachi ship, duh, we don't need to strip that. But everything else, there we go, okay. Uh, and this is Disruptors, yeah, we'll take them off anyway. All right, now let us select our ship. Here it is, the Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser, and uh, you can see it comes with things. We'll look at that in just a second. Let's ready. Let's go and ready Starship. Now it is our Starship. Okay. Now let's go to it. Now here's what it comes with. 
first of all, the hangar bay. Only one hangar bay, but it's got it. It's a Voth Heavy Fighter. Um, this is rare. I, I assume that there's a very rare version of this. I just don't know where you would get that. Is it maybe in the Dilithium store? Special items and boxes? Sometimes they have those things in here. Uh, yes, here they are. Okay, they do exist. Voth, uh, Voth Advanced Heavy Fighter, very rare, which has um, anti-proton arrays, um, transphasic chroniton torpedoes, beam overload 1, emergency power to shields 2, and emergency power to weapons 2. Uh, but it costs 25,000 dilithium. And I don't want to spend all my dilithium on this, really. So we'll use the default one right now, the rare version, um, for right now. Okay, also, here's the console. This is the Universal Reflective Shield Amplifier. Damage immunity plus reflect. Shield will last for 20 seconds or until it absorbs 100,000 damage. Uh, minus 50% all outgoing damage while active. Immune to all incoming damage while active. Uh, minus 50% flight speed for 20 seconds and minus 50% flight turn rate. So it's going to reduce our flight speed and turn rate when it's active. And it, it reduces all outgoing damage as well. So when we activate it, it's pretty much in a dire situation only. Reflects 100% of incoming damage back at attacker. It is part of a two-piece set. Uh, you need the Aceton Field Generator, and then you get a set two ability called Voth Cloak. And also something else called Voth Reinforced Hull. But the only way you can get that is to get the Aceton Field, and that's to get the Science Ship, which we don't have. So we are not going to have those other abilities right now. <coughs> okay, so next. Here is what it comes with. It sets up uh, Voth anti-proton beam arrays. See, there are specific Voth anti-proton weaponry. And that is something I don't have. And it comes only with the Mark 10 common. So it's not very good. Um, but obviously, if you don't have anything, it's better than nothing. If we read about this, it says Voth anti-proton weapons have a chance to reduce your target's damage potential when you land a critical hit. So if you land a critical hit, you have a chance to reduce your target's damage potential. That's basically what the special Voth ability of the anti-proton uh, weaponry is all about. Other than that, it's just your standard anti-proton weapons. So, I would assume it will look like just any old anti-proton beam. Probably no special color to it or anything. That's just a guess. I'm going to try it though because I, I wanna, do want to find out. But here's what it recommends. Um, they recommend a, um, a Voth beam array here, a Voth beam array here and a dual beam here and then transphasic chroniton launcher. So this is a Voth transphasic chroniton launcher. I haven't heard of that before. Um, transphasic chroniton projectiles combine the properties of both separate types of projectiles resulting in a torpedo that deals average damage with a long recharge and have a chance to slow the target while simultaneously penetrating a larger portion of the target shields. Well, that all sounds complicated. First of all, I want to get out of here because these people are bugging me. Um, so, a transphasic chroniton torpedo. That is interesting. Um, hmm. And then, of course, the deflector array and all that is standard right now. I could, that I can definitely do a lot better on. <clears throat> so, here's, the, here's my problem. This thing is obviously built for anti-proton damage, I'm guessing. Or, I guess you could really, you could do anything you want on it. But, it's, they're recommending anti-protons, so... But I, this character, oh no, this character does have anti-proton weapons, that's right. Um, I was 
going to be building a um, obelisk build, and and obviously the obelisk build is all anti-proton. So I was getting all my anti-proton stuff that I have together ready for that um, to make that build. I don't have a lot on this character, but I have some things. So as you can see, I've got some fleet advanced fleet anti-proton beam arrays. Well, I can use that on the on this Voth uh, flight deck cruiser. So that will that will give me the beam arrays I need. Um, as for the torpedo, I want to see what this does. I want to try it out. I've never heard of it, but I don't have anything better. I mean, I don't have the better version of this. So. Uh, you'll just have to forgive me here. I'm trying to think of what I what I got, what I can do. Let us do this. Let's. I, I do. I first want to see what the Voth weapons that it comes with looks like. Let's strip the deflector. Strip the impulse. Strip the warp core. Strip the shields. I can definitely do better. I can use the obelisk warp core, subspace rift warp warp core on this ship. That'll give us a uh, better warp core. That's the best warp core I have on this character. Um, now, as for shield and deflector and, and impulse, I probably would want to go advanced Mako because that's going to give me the better shield capacity. However, I don't know if I have advanced... I don't know if I have uh, the Mako. I have Omega. That's what I was running on the other ship. Let me see what I have in my bank. I'm just trying to think what would be best. Obviously this is going to be an all beam build and uh, not cannons. Also uh, I am on my engineering character. I have said before I believe this ship is going to be best best for a, an engineering character so uh, that's what we're going to do there um, let's see if I have what do I got here I have Mako Mark 12 Here's my... <clears throat> I guess I don't have advanced Mako. Mako Mark 12. I just have... I mean, adapted Mako. I only have... I only have regular Mako. I don't have adapted Mako. Well, that will be okay for right now. Ultimately, I would like to have adapted Mako. I don't know why I don't have adapted Mako on this character. I guess I haven't... I haven't run that. I have enough marks to get about two of the items, but not all three of them, so... I'll have to look into that later. Um, anyway, let's get back to my ship. We'll just use um, Mako Mark 12 for right now. The adapted Mako, you see, has a higher shield capacity than the regular Mako. But it'll be good. I think. I think that'll be a good. I think that'll be good. Uh, deflector, impulse, and engine for right now. I could also do. What else do I have? Nothing. Nothing else that's good enough, to be honest. Definitely wouldn't want to use Omega, so put that over here alright so we'll stick with the Mako Mark 12 for right now and now for my devices um, I can move this and I can fill my tactical with all anti-protons anti-proton mag regulators I got three Mark 11 rares just enough to fill it so that will help Science consoles, well I can fill that with my shield capacity consoles. Boost that up. Put in my devices. Um, my neutronium. Yeah, we'll do that. running 
out of space. Out of space. Got to do some organizing here later. Um, let's see, okay. All right, so that's good. Now the kinetic cutting beam. Yeah, let's replace one of the... Let's replace my aft torpedo. The cutting beam. I may put that back in and replace it with one of the beams, but <clears throat> the idea is I want the two-step bonus from this, which is called Omega Weapon Amplifier. And just to remind us, Omega Weapon Amplifier um, does plus 10 current weapon power and plus 500 current weapon power for three seconds, and then plus 500 maximum weapon power resistance rating for three seconds when it applies. So. That's a bonus I want to keep. So, kinetic cutting beam. Plus, it's a 360 degree firing arc, so that's nice. And then, of course, that console. We have the one that comes with the ship. Now, I'm not. I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna put these on yet. I want to see how it fires with that, and then we will. Then we'll look at it. Okay. Now let's fill our stations. Um. That's not good. That's good. That's good on the science. I'm happy with that. It's actually not too bad on the engineering right there. I think I'll keep that. Um, Lieutenant Tactical. Now because this is going to be a beam ship with torpedoes, I want those abilities, so... Tech space, let's do uh, also... Hmm... What are the, where's my other tactical characters? Yeah, we'll change that. Then one more... Uh, Jeez, could be a science or it could be an engineering. Maybe an engineering and do an emergency power thing. I've already got emergency power to shield three. I can change that. Okay. We'll have to do some uh, respecking over here. Let's see, what are we going to do? Um, let's change... Um... Let's do like, um... Let's do a torpedo high yield and then a beam overload too. How about that? Overload 2 can go to tactical space. Where are you? Okay, and then we'll do high yield. High yield 2 on the green. Good, now I have at least a beam ability. I can do overload 2, and then I've Although I maybe I, maybe the better option is to do fire at will, given that this will be sitting, you know, just sitting there a lot. Uh, fire at will may be the better option, but uh, we'll try this for now. And then a high yield to. Uh, I don't need two tactical teams though. Yeah, let's change tax space. Let's go ahead and do a. Can we do fire at will one, just to try it, just to see what happens. Uh, fire at will one on tax space. I think that'll share a cooldown, but that's okay. I'm only going to use one or the other anyway. I will try it. Okay. And my engineering ability, let's... Uh, 
let's do um, let's do emergency power to engines actually, so we can move a little bit better here. So engineer one train. Okay, there we go. Let's try that for right now. I'm gonna leave science alone. I actually like what I have for my commander abilities. So let's leave all that, and now let's just uh, skill up everybody. Near one and uh, tech space skill up, and you should be all skilled, and you should be all skilled. So now, now we're good. Okay. Now that we have that set, let's go look at this ship in space.